Hey, I'm Rhett. And I'm Katina. We've recently made Greece our new home. It's here that we will explore the customs, traditions, and people that make this country so beautiful. So like, subscribe, and join us on our adventures through this breathtaking country. Palestina Lava. The first time I visited Corfu, it sparked my increased curiosity in Greece. We're arriving in Corfu. This is amazing. We took the car ferry over and we're here. Coming here made me recognize that Greece is more than Athens and beautiful desert islands with white buildings and blue roofs. It helped me understand that there is so much more about this country that I want to discover. On the surface, you forget that you're in Greece while walking around this beautiful European town. This seed grew into us creating the Becoming Greek series. It made me realize how different Greece was from one region to another and piqued my curiosity in finding out what made each of these places so different and what common ties bond this country. As far as I've discovered, there are three things that you can count on in going to any Greek island. You will find beautiful landscapes and beaches, you will eat delicious food, and you will be met with the best hospitality in the world. The Greek word for hospitality is philoxenia. This literally translates to kindness to strangers. We came here in 2021. We were only here for a week and it just felt like we made so many relationships. Our host, Luca, oh my God. was a prime example of so someone who was incredibly kind to us and has since become a great friend. <laughs> come back home. It just hit me. We're in Corfu. We're in Kekera. And you know what? I'm eight years living in Corfu and still I haven't got enough of it. One interesting thing is that there's all of these different influences. All you see was not built by Greeks. I mean, especially Corfu town. What really makes Corfu different? Those influences in combination with the nature. Knowing that we have an interest in searching for knowledge about Corfu, he connected us with Merrily. I teach art at the uh, Ionian University and I'm a native. <laughs> Merrily has also published magazine articles and has a vast understanding of the unwritten history of Corfu. It used to be a colony of the Corinthians. It has been conquered by the Italians and before that the Anjus and then the Venetians. And our last conqueror was England. So we've had many, many influences. The Corfuots, they have always wanted to learn from other cultures and embrace other cultures. I would say it's, it's a very uh, cosmopolitan place and uh, people were more open-minded than the rest of Greece. I think that uh, the Corfuots have a feeling of being more Europeans, traditionally speaking. I think that it's a, an island that's very, very friendly towards someone who wants not only visit Corfu, but also live here. The English influence, even though it was very short, they built most of the town and uh, the English have this idea of our island as being something uh, of their own. They identify with Corfu. The island of Prosperous, for example, in uh, Shakespeare's Tempest. And that's why uh, one of the Darrells brothers wrote the Prosperous Island. He talks about Corfu. For someone who wants to know Corfu, it would be a very good idea to read this book. Lawrence Durrell has been one of my biggest influences in becoming Greek, a British author who famously started his romance with Greece in Corfu, as can be seen in the Durrells of Corfu. He spent many years traveling around Greek islands, learning life lessons from each place he traveled. Other countries may offer you discoveries and manners or lore or landscape. Greece offers you something harder, the discovery of yourself. As I dive into self-discovery here, I find that Corfu is the most Western thinking of the Greek islands. With its high levels of tourism, this has fostered more competition and fewer financial woes than most of Greece. People travel here both for vacation and to live from all across Europe. These two neighbors, one from Corfu and the other from the UK, regularly chat over a game of backgammon at a charming cafe in the beautiful Greek countryside. One fabulous woman we met, Inessa, owns Locale, a charming cafe in Corfu town. After 12 years, having felt more or less local, I decided to open a place that I called Locale. This is a place where people meet. What we try to do is foreigners and locals 
to start interacting. Now, this is what you see, you see? Two ladies from space and the guy from London, they started to chat. Now they are exchanging their experience in Corfu. Local is a little place where we want to help people to feel a bit local. Just like us. Inessa is trying to unite people all while bringing back the most traditional of Mediterranean cuisine. Could be a breakfast of a fisherman or a farmer who goes to the field with a little linen bag called giornata, where they would put the meal they can eat in the field. Everything there should stand the heat of summer. Usually it would be tomato, cucumber, boiled eggs, a piece of cheese and bread. Olive oil, of course. That's the base of the famous healthy Mediterranean diet. While you can find amazing Greek cuisine in Corfu, you'll also find incredible Italian cuisine. And the traditional cuisine of the island itself lies somewhere in between the two. The fusion of culture and influences isn't limited to just the food and architecture here. It can also be seen in Kekera in a way even more important to those who live here, music. We hope to discover more about the music scene in Corfu. So we attended Jazz Night and talked to the incredible creator of the event, Sofia. I grew up in Corfu in an island full of music. Everybody around me was playing an instrument, singing, to a point that when I moved to Athens, it was weird for me to understand that not everybody's a musician. I was singing and they were thinking, oh my God, you have such a beautiful voice. I was like, man, it's okay, you know, it's so normal. I don't get your reaction. And this is where I understood that being a musician is special. The reason why I come and live on my island every summer is to spread to the world that Corfu is a music island of Greece. This is not spread around, the rumor is not there yet. The first Philharmonic Orchestra was established on the island in the mid-19th century. The purpose of this orchestra was to offer free music education to everybody, no discrimination. Now we have 17 Philharmonic Orchestras which still have the same purpose, offer free music education to everybody. Sophia explained to us that Corfu music had been influenced by the West and the island's historical rulers. Basically what you hear is another uh, sound. It's more lyrical, it's more like maggiore, so more like uh, happy music. Corfu has a legendary Easter celebration where these orchestras can be seen in full display. Sophia learned about Katina's history with Greek dance and invited us to the Panagiri and her family's village a couple of nights later. The day before the Panieri, we spent it enjoying a very popular thing to do on this island, renting out our own private boat from Paleo Castriza. While many islands offer boat tours, this is a relatively unique experience as you can explore the coast of Corfu and find your own private beach for a few hours. If you're traveling to Corfu and looking for more incredible experiences on the island of Corfu, follow our friend Sedchiki. She has great tips and travel guides on many Greek islands and has been vacationing in Corfu in particular for many years. The next evening was time to visit our first ever Panayiri, a Saints Day celebration. Oh my God, okay, so I am incredibly excited. I've been Greek dancing my entire life and this is like the moment I've been waiting for. I can smell the Panayiri, look at all the people. Oh my God, oh my God, the animals. <laughs> Welcome to my village. This is it, eh? Ah, this is Lato Garuna, what you see? I love that we're experiencing our first ever Panigiri on the music island. You never went to Panigiri before? No, okay, so right. we've literally Mr. been like this close. The Greek gods brought you to the best Panigiri of Corfu. I felt like I could close my eyes and I was dancing next to Mayaya. I was dancing next to all of the ancestors that have danced before me because it's always the same. It's the same sounds, the same beats, the same steps. That's something I hold dear to my heart because at the end of the day, everything else will change, but the rhythm will always remain the same. In this village, Casa Garuna. Never expected you this evening. Who would have known? I finally found somebody to dance with. I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> After an incredible evening to remember, it was time for us to reminisce on what a special few weeks it had been here in Corfu. 
Yamas. Yamas. The second we got here, Luca said, welcome home. <sighs> and yes. we were only here a few days last time. And now, I mean, it feels like home it in does. a lot of ways. It's beautiful to see people like Anessa, who didn't really feel like she had a place to call home until coming here. To see her start locale and like the meeting of what that place is, you're always home. And like you can come in and you can feel like a local. And I think that that's what Corfu gives us. We don't need to go anywhere else. We could just stay here <laughs> forever. Cancel all the rest of our <laughs> trip. We live here now. One thing that I really loved that they do prioritize here is when Greeks are with friends, they don't look at the time. And we all make fun of, oh, so-and-so's on Greek time, they're gonna be late, <laughs> oh, there's this. But at the heart of it, there's something really beautiful about how they really cherish their relationships and prioritize them. It felt like we were always with friends during our time here on Corfu. One special thing about Greek culture that I admire is how you're told someone is related to you only to find out it's not by blood. It's because your families were close or they've adopted a member of your family as their own. This isn't something that I completely understood until we were in Corfu this time. The relationships that we made here in Corfu, we are so invited and so welcome. They want us to stay because we became their family, not just them becoming ours. We came to Corfu excited to see old friends. We left having found new family.